Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I don't know where it is that you are tuned on to the Life Signatures podcast. It is a daily podcast. It's a teaching podcast. On the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience, we do this on every single working day by God's grace. We've been doing this for over the past three or so years, and there's not a single day that we have missed. If we have missed because of one thing or another, it has always been covered up. You can always go back and you can find that every single day over the past three years has been represented. We are nearing uh, 2,000 episodes in this, but that's not the issue. The issue is every working day, there is a 15-minute episode, and it's on those three subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. And hopefully it ministers to you one way or another, makes you to think, makes you to get inspired, makes you to get motivated. If it does that, please share it with as many people as you can. We are in the middle of a series. We're talking about reputation. And we've been talking about how or what we stand to lose when we have a bad reputation, when we have a bad rap. What what do we lose when that happens? And today we close that bit. And then tomorrow we start talking about how we can recover a lost reputation. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So, let's do a recap. Number one, if you have a bad reputation, what do you stand to lose? You'll stand to lose trust. It goes without saying, reputation is in the basics of trust. And human beings normally interact and do business based on how trustworthy they are towards each other. Seldom do you find a lasting connection or a lasting relationship where trust is an issue. So, you stand to lose that if your reputation is bad. They cannot trust you. They cannot trust you because of your bad rap, bad reputation. Secondly, there is the issue of access. You stand to lose access to high places if you have a bad reputation. You cannot go to State House <laughs> if you're a convicted White House, if you're a convicted criminal. You cannot. I mean, you cannot have access to that particular place. You cannot have access to some people, important people in the community. If your reputation is bad, they do not want to see you. They do not want to be associated with you because access is about association. And one of the biggest assets in life as far as reputation brings is associations the right associations you cannot get the right associations if you have a bad reputation thirdly you stand to lose revenue at the end of the day directly or indirectly there are some guys who directly lose revenue because of a bad reputation those ones are guys who are having endorsement uh, endorsements coming their way you know they have done a lot and they have built a name and they are admired and they are influencing and so on and therefore a brand comes alongside and say hey, why can't you be a brand, our brand ambassador and so on and so forth and then they become the brand ambassador and they, they get paid for being a brand ambassador but the moment they have a bad reputation what happens uh, the, brand, the brands desert them thereby they lose the revenue now indirectly you can lose revenue by what you can lose revenue indirectly by having a bad reputation because this bad reputation denies you access and when you're denied access you cannot have revenue 
when you deny trust or not not really deny trust but when your trust goes south what happens is that you cannot be given contracts you cannot be given uh, transactions you cannot be involved in connections that are transactional and they are value oriented because of your bad reputation because again revenue and value is on the line in any form of reputation that you can talk about so that's another thing you stand to lose your value in terms of revenue and the fourth thing that you stand to lose when you have a bad reputation is relationships at the end of the day i mean this one should even come first people cannot continue having relationships with you if you have a bad reputation i mean of course when trust is lost reputation is goes down and relationships cannot continue being fostered when there is that particular element if you look in your life there are some guys that you're very close to remember you're very close to those guys and then uh, somewhere down the line uh, something bad happened to them or they made something wrong and their reputation suffered i uh, can almost bet that you are no longer in relationship with those people you lost that relationship or they lost that relationship correction they lost that relationship because of their bad reputation it goes without saying today let us bring to a close what else you stand to lose when you have a bad reputation and i'm going to talk about this from the personal branding subject from the personal branding topic you stand to lose what we call clout what is clout it is a general goodwill and favor that you are gaining directly or indirectly by having a good reputation. It's like the fragrance that you exude. It's like, you know, a name precedes you. That's the clout. Your clout is your name. Your name precedes you. When I mention Mike Tyson, his name precedes him. If you are in the United States of America, if I mention Joe Biden and you are pro-life, you know, his reputation precedes him. His clout precedes him. You're not going to vote for Joe Biden if you're in the United States of America and you are pro-life. Period. Why? Because his clout, his reputation, his general goodwill with you is not there because of his reputation. And his reputation comes as a result of what he stands for, what he values, what he does, what he champions, what he stops championing, what he doesn't champion. And if it goes against the values, his reputation, if it goes against your values, his reputation in your eyes as an individual goes down. That is what we're calling, we're calling clout. Clout is the general goodwill or it's a general favor that you gain directly by having a good reputation. Now, the interesting thing about clout here is that we need to come to that place where we realize that somebody said you cannot please everybody unless you're selling ice cream. And even if you're selling ice cream these days and in this day and in this age, there are some people who say, I hate vanilla. I want uh, chocolate. You know, I want chocolate flavor i don't want vanilla and so on and so forth and they're gonna call you names because you didn't have chocolate you only have vanilla you you cannot please everybody but clout generally is not out there to please everybody clout is you standing on what you you know matters standing on what you are passionate about that impacts that contributes that changes this society that brings transformation to this society and you keep doing that whether people are going to like it or not that's not the issue the issue is that you're doing what matters to you and as long as you continue doing that which is positive in society you're going to get a good reputation which is clout now this reputation goes down and this clout goes down immediately you do something bad this clout gives you so much benefit in life as you relate to people in some instances you might not even need to trade with cash or physical resources or tangible material resources just clout I know of people who have, you know, received some kind of backing or from, from, from banks and stuff like that because of their clout. Just walking into a banking hall and they get, you know, preference and difference because of their clout. In some instances, you might need not to trade, not to do a transaction, not to exchange value based on material things by just the clout the name precedes you the fragrance goes before you see once your reputation is lost this clout is withdrawn with immediate effect 
You don't get the goodwill anymore. You don't get the favor anymore. Once your reputation is lost, though, you are required to pay in kind, in cash. I mean, you, <laughs> you cannot depend on the favor anymore. You cannot depend on the clout anymore. You cannot depend on the goodwill anymore. You've got to pay what is due. That is what you stand to lose with a bad reputation. In fact, sometimes even if you had the currency, if you had the money to pay, sometimes you're denied that which you wanted because of your bad reputation. Someone do not want, does not want to identify having done a transaction with you, having a bad reputation, even if it's not wrong for them to sell you, for wrong, to, wrong for, you to, for them to accord you a particular service. The thing with cloud is that it doesn't just happen with transactions, but with life in general. The next time you're considering having a bad reputation, ladies and gentlemen, even as I come to a close of this mini-series within the larger series of reputation, the next time you're planning to have a bad reputation, please take note what you stand to lose. You stand to lose, number one, trust. People can no longer trust you. And trust once is lost, it takes quite a bit of a hefty time and a lot of work and a lot of pay, a lot of costs involved in rebuilding that. And I'm going to talk about that in the, pre- pre- in the episodes that are going to, to come after. And the second thing that you stand to lose is access. If people cannot trust you, they cannot let you in their houses. They cannot let you in their companies. They cannot let you in their buildings because you've lost trust. I mean, you cannot have access with them. And consequently, number three, you're going to lose revenue. You're going to lose money directly or indirectly. Number four, some relationships will come to a halt. Important relationships, pillars in your success journey. They will come to a halt. You'll lose them. And you will need them at some point in time. But then number five, you're going to lose clout, which is good favor and goodwill with people if you have a bad reputation. So the next time you're considering having a bad reputation, please take note of what you stand to lose. And I guarantee you that if you do not maintain, if you do maintain a bad reputation, it will just be a matter of time. Just a matter of time before your house of cards comes down completely and you are an entity, you are forgotten. It takes a month, a year or even decades, but there will be no way that you're going to be succeeding in this life with a bad reputation. Your downfall is imminent with a bad reputation make sure that if it's a bad reputation that is going around you you are not the one contributing to it make sure that it is about the haters doing what they are doing because they'll always be there but as for you make sure that you're doing what is positive what is building society what is transformative what you're passionate about what matters to you what you love and what makes you be a person of purpose well tomorrow we will start talking about how we can reclaim a lost reputation what can we do what can we do to reclaim a reputation how can we recover a ruined reputation that's what going, going, going to be the topic from tomorrow until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.